When the Partners of America concept was first explored by President Eisenhower and his brother Milton, Latin America and the Caribbean were sinking vessels in need of repair. At a time of great economic growth in the United States, Latin America struggled. The divide between the rich and poor was staggering. It was a time of Juan Perón, Fidel Castro, and uncertainty. For many Latin Americans, the future meant hardship and despair. Bold and courageous Latinos voiced and questioned their plight. It doesn't interest me to know where you live, how much money you have. What I want to know is if you can get up after a night of despair, weary, bruised to the bone, and do what needs to be done for the children. These and other pleas came from the distressed common people and targeted the hearts of their blessed neighbors in North America. The appeals from the have-not people in Latin America were not for charity, but rather for support and encouragement. Give us a chance to dream again. Give us a chance to take control of our future. In Milton Eisenhower's mind, there was no doubt that revolution was inevitable. But the question remained, was it to be peaceful or violent? Real efforts for governmental cooperation in the Western Hemisphere began when President John F. Kennedy launched his Alliance for Progress plan. Kennedy insisted that these new alliances include private citizens in people-to-people -people programs. In the Cold War era, the Partners of the Americas concept was bold and needed careful nurturing. However real the need was, the devil remained in the details and the politics. In the following years, the details were worked out. This was accomplished by carefully identifying citizen groups, farm co-ops, hospital associations, universities, and others willing to participate. In 1964, Governor John Reynolds took the initiative to find a suitable Latin American partner for Wisconsin. By 1965, an exchange and dialogue began with Nicaragua. The Wisconsin delegation quickly noted some commonalities shared between Wisconsin and Nicaragua. For example, both economies were heavily dependent on agriculture. Both were similar in size with approximately 57,000 square miles. Both have extensive stretches of land bordering water. And both had valuable forested areas. But the commonalities stopped here. Wisconsin's delegation quickly noted that these commonalities did not draw a clear picture of the crushing weight the people of Nicaragua had to sustain. Unlike Wisconsin, Nicaragua had faced disastrous volcano eruptions, hurricanes, earthquakes, political revolution, staggering health issues, a poor education system, and housing issues. If this alliance of people was to work, both Wisconsin and Nicaragua realized that it needed to first challenge the significant differences that presented obstacles for a full partnership. The focus of the partnership quickly zeroed in on what was and would continue to be the central issues. Health, agriculture, education, women in society, cultural diversity, and humanitarian assistance. Until these issues were addressed, there could be no meaningful fellowship. Development teams from Wisconsin and Nicaragua exchanged visits and soon joined as partners in a nonprofit, non-governmental alliance. For more than 40 continuous years, the Wisconsin-Nicaraguan partnership has affected the lives of thousands. This alliance has produced lasting benefits, 
not only in projects completed, but in the friendships and experience that transcends borders. In addition to health projects, agricultural assistance, emergency aid, and skills training, the partnership has moved beyond to include unique programs including Nicaragua Reads, Seed Harvesting, Firefighters United, Farmer to Farmer, Sewing Centers, Boy Scout Bicycle Project, Kitchen Gardening, Women's Care, Train the Trainer, and many others. Wisconsin Nicaragua Partners of the Americas is a nonprofit, non political organization working to enhance the quality of life in both Wisconsin and Nicaragua. Thousands of volunteers in both countries have made it a true people to people program. One of the original volunteers said, It will work if we can only make it last. For over 40 years, the Wisconsin-Nicaragua Partners of the Americas collaboration has lasted. In a bold step forward, the partnership is preparing the next 40 years. Won't you join us?